So, it's been a while. Uh, so this is kind of an ironic situation. Look, everybody knows the story, right? Oh, shit. As we all know, the culture uh, years ago now like went completely left. It's funny that I'm wearing this shirt. No one really um, in their right mind can continue to pretend that they like a lot of the stuff that is happening. I need to get into a debate about it. People like what they like. Uh, I wish you well on your journey in life of figuring out what makes you tick. There have been some things that have all just kind of intersected here. Okay, so yeah, the flowers of society, these came in. I haven't had a chance to actually wear them out because it's been shitty for the most part. Breathable mesh, it's got nice suede. All these things are nice. It looks like a nice little shoe, so. Shout out to these guys for sending them to me. Guys I met in London years ago. And these are cool. It's hard to bring your own shoe to market. You know, I've never done it, but I felt kind of like a a hypocrite at, uh, releasing a shoe that didn't have boost. And we all know you need to start a hoeing, but you know, they also just lost a billy. So give them aware and find out. They're putting on a black pair soon that looks great. I respect it because it doesn't look like they cut any corners and I'm sure that this will evolve over time. Thing, they have something to do with the blockchain as well. I think there's like a digital sneaker that comes with this, but I don't, I don't know. I've, I've been completely turned off by blockchain because people kind of ruin almost everything. <laughs> You know, I don't, I, I haven't realized if I just hate everything or if people ruin everything. So we're going to be positive today. So this is just a pair of shoes I bought. I don't search out anything really anymore. I don't pay attention. Like a natural um, situation. I was in Whole Foods the other day, Whole Foods Boulder. Shout out to Whole Foods Boulder. Uh, someone got stabbed at the Barnes and Noble. I was there, I looked down, this guy had these shoes on. I was like, I don't know what the fuck those are. Them shits look great. I'm being bonged onto the internet. Realized that they're a collab. You know me. Ooh, I love collabs. I never fucked with this company. I got accused of ripping them off once. Because I did the side profile shape of a head. I didn't even know they existed. Um, these came from eBay. You know, because literally like every shoe reseller is falling. We're going full circle, dog. It's, it's just like society, you know, as societies build things that destroy them and reset and recreate. So we're doing with sneakers. We're back to eBay cops, baby. But these were under retail and this box looks small. Did check. Brains dead? Yeah, I just wanted to check these out because this is clearly like a boost-like material. It off-rip, not as squishy as boost. They're just shoes for me to try. Fun and exciting to see a shoe I liked in the wild buy it get it oh, wasn't that son no one else cared and just yeah just you know not paying attention to things and catching them later is kind of cool why has it got a little sticky on that what does that do what does all this shit do why does it look like it's got technology in it i think there's even a newer version of this with even more trabuco or more max or flight foam it kind of has like a foot condom type feel, but we'll see. Hopefully I didn't waste any money. You never know. I'm not as picky as I used to be. Scan my shoe, it's just taking so fucking long. Ready to scan. Something went wrong. Scan again. Motherfucking whack BT right here, dog. Let's go. It says ready to resell. It's like, this is why I will not feel any empathy or sympathy for resellers. People are like complaining about all this shit now. I'm not gonna feel bad for these people, dog. Like, you try, trying to take advantage and keep it, we've been having this conversation for years. So with like, a pendulum swings the other way and you get kicked in the dick on this, like I, don't come to me crying. It's like this book, right? I ordered this book after a PBS documentary. It was $50. I thought it was all good. It got canceled. Now the book is $315 and this psychopath wants two grand. So I sent him a message and told him he's out of his mind and that he would be burning it for warmth when World War III starts because I am that petty. Anyway, this shoe is here. I'll wear it. Cool. If you like them, good luck finding them. I don't know. I'm sure they're out there in your size. I don't even know if I like them. Don't let me influence you. So this package involves another shoe tuber, the shoe tuber, like the guy. He's branched out, which is why this package is here. We've done vlogs together. We were in Japan at the same time. I'm talking about Seth Fowler, the Seth dog. And yes, Seth Fowler is a very different uh, vibe than, than me, but we get along great. I'm traveling around the fucking country, breaking my back for sneaker con. But I remember when Seth was there, and they didn't want to give Seth a booth. Me and him would have conversations, and I'd be like, what the fuck, why are they not, you know what I mean, like, what the fuck. Now, fast forward, my man stayed the path, he stayed the course. Seth is like the sports center for shoes, he's like shoe center. So, he also has a sock company called Apothecary. And so we did a collab. I did all, I said all that shit. 
to say this. But we did a collab. But uh, these are the socks, and they're coming soon. I don't. I think the tentative drop date is March 10th. This is just Seth fucking with me because I fuck with Seth and his sock company, and we did some art on some socks. Well, I did the art. He provided the socks. I wear these socks almost every day. Honestly, these, these are the, like the socks I go to. We got four different pairs here. So each toe I did like a saying. This one says, don't chase. You know, don't chase the dragon. Uh, so these are the dragon pair. So they got the cherry blossoms. The beauty of life on the toes. I like the idea of like putting on socks in the morning and get, getting a motivation. You know, instead of, you know, you get on Instagram and Twitter and wherever else. And, or the person you know who achieves the least has another uh, motivational quote you know he ain't doing shit i like putting on your socks personally you're like let's go red cross on the military green wealth won't buy health military rescue joints and uh yeah the stitching on these is great so uh and these are sparrows coming at you take flight which is funny because of the nike shit but, uh yeah with the sparrow so apothecary collab four different jam used to jam on soon i believe march 10th for not dropping on my website normally i drop shit on my website this was at the time when we were planning this my life was insane i didn't think about really getting stock for my site they're just all going to be apothecary so just get over there and get them pay attention i'll announce when they're dropping on my socials but also Follow them fools. I think it's cool that Seth has come so far in that game and it was really like watching him be, I don't want to say odd man out because I don't know anyone that didn't like Seth, but he wasn't getting the respect he deserved. He grinded it out and now look at him, dude. You know what I'm saying? Killing it. So apply that shit to your own life. You can do it too. Yeah, dude, my dad was sleeping for sure. <laughs> yeah, he's tripping not getting one of these. Eldora. So I have never been. Alex has never been without her dad. And uh, we haven't been yet this year. So we're going to go. Should be good. Me and Alex, we haven't done shit <laughs> in months. This has been non stop. So this should be nice. everybody at the gym uh, everyone's great but getting here when it's empty and there's nobody uh, that you forget your headphones in the car is unbeatable so you know if you I feel like if you set these ridiculous goals like oh, I'm gonna get up at 4 or I didn't set 3 30 a couple of days uh, you'll get there a lot earlier <laughs> just, just trying to get there early, you know if you aim for four and you hit six better than coming at eight. vlog was done as far as I was concerned. Just like every fucking time where we like start to get <laughs> smoothed out a little bit, some shit happened. What is today? Today is Sunday. The day before yesterday. Normally I come home from work. My mother-in-law is on the couch here, hanging here. Came home. She wasn't doing so hot. Half an hour, 45 minutes later, um, just kind of shaking and saying crazy stuff about peanuts and just weird stuff. We got worried because she has, the, she has these infections that she cannot fight off very well. And she also has wounds on her feet that are healing.
healing from surgeries. Basically, long story short, she came off antibiotics. She was on seven weeks, 24 hours a day. Got her stitches out of her foot, and then pretty much within a day or two went septic again. Uh, we had to drag her out of the house. She didn't want to go. She never wants to go, and I can't blame her because I wouldn't want to go either. Got her to the hospital where she's now uh recovering it's just a lot for us in general and it's you know if you guys know i don't vlog like i used to i've said it over and over and every time i'm about to drop a vlog like i just want to i'm trying my best not to i guess ignore or focus on what is really happening all the time here because this is what a majority of our life is right now this next few days is uh it's a little is a little crazy we don't really know the deal is back and forth from the hospital and honestly it's been like this for about 14 months, 15 months, ever since Ron was killed. And I'm just being honest. In the midst of all this, I come home and the drop is here. The skateboard is coming and the apothecary collab is also ready. So I have to market all these things, all these things while all this is really happening in real time at home because this is like the life that I've chose. This is where we're at. It's done wonders for uh, me and my perspective on things. Really spending a lot of my time working hard on getting better at life. Yeah, so today's Sunday. I got a tattoo to go do. The tattoo shop's busy as fuck. I'm not updating for sympathy. This is just part of life. It's not a fun part of life. It would be silly of me to think that life doesn't have these ups and downs, these ebbs and flows. And, you know, being here for somebody who needs you is more rewarding than traveling and more rewarding than sneakers and more rewarding than fucking C-list fame or any, any of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, it's fulfilling and fulfillment. What we're looking for as humans, regardless of these circumstances is what I'm on the quest for. So we'll get this blog updated. Appreciate you guys. Um, one day I will report back and there will be no bummer news at all. But for now, a little bummer peppered him. Thank you.